I encourage you to listen to this entire video and truly listen. Find the time to listen to this and help make a change. Close your eyes, imagine yourself, your life, your friends, your family. For the next two minutes, just imagine. You feel alone, you feel like you have no one there for you. You had a bad day, something has to go wrong every single day. Whether to fight with your best friends, your family, or just fight in yourself. Every day seems to be a battle, a battle to get up and face the world. But this one day, whether it's today or a day from five years from now, it's a day that will change everything. You got home from school and you're all alone in your home. The silence is louder than ever. You walk into your room and lay on your bed, thinking of the day and how awful it was. You think of the names you were called, the way some of your friends shaded you. It feels sick to your stomach. You ask yourself, why am I still here when all I want is for me to be gone? You imagine yourself leaving everything. You're curious to know how people would react when they found out you were gone. Whether you are a funny kid everyone knows of or the shy kid, whether you struggle with your weight, appearance, sexuality or any other battles teens face with every single day, you know that you can't stick it out any longer, you can't hold on. Pretending to be the happy face or using the fake smile will only get you so far. You get up from your bed, you're sad but also very angry. You want to make a point to everyone. You want people to remember you and to regret the mean things that they have said. You know something has to be done and now's the only chance. If you don't do it now, when will you ever? You just took out the pills cause you know there is no other way that you could follow through with any other method. You're scared, so very scared. But you know it's time, so you took the pill and grab a paper and a pencil. You write little, hoping it would be just enough to be heard and leave an imprint. You write to your parents apologizing what you're about to do. You write to your friends that those name calling and joke wasn't what pushed you over the edge. You then write to all the people who didn't give you a chance, that shut you down, the people that made fun of you, the people that didn't give you an opportunity, that didn't include you. You don't need names, you know who they are, and they know who they are. You write to them hoping they would read it and feel the sense of pain that you felt. You finish the letter and fold it up. You see tears soaked in the paper and start crying harder. This is reality, this is happening. You picked up the pills, open the bottle and don't hesitate. You start to feel dizzy and then it hits you. You're gonna die, you're gonna be that kid, that kid who dies and who leaves their tongue in shock. You're crying so hard, thinking of your family. You feel a sense of regret, questioning whether this is the right choice. But you're dying. Everything you have ever worked for is vanishing. You start screaming for help. You cry out for your mom wanting her to be there to hold you. But she's not. You're scared and you need her. You keep screaming hoping someone would hear you. But no one does and no one will. You faint. You fall to the ground and you're dead. That's it. All done. But it's not. Your mom comes home to see her baby lying on the floor dead. You just killed her inside. She instantly scream and call 911. She's panicking and can't catch her breath. She's crying hysterically, but her tears won't bring you back cause you're dead. She will never be able to get this image out of her head. Flashback to this will haunt her for the rest of her life. Your school is notified and your friends find out. The entire school is shocked. They were silenced for days. They lost a friend, a classmate, a student. They lost a soul. You'll forever be known to that school. You'll never leave the minds and the hearts of those people. Even to those people who didn't give you a chance, the teacher who gave you a hard time, or that classmate who gave you a nasty look. You'll still forever be in their hearts. Your friends cry at night blaming themselves for not sending you a text. A text that could have saved your life. Your family is falling apart, nothing is going good. Your dad worked late hours just so he doesn't have to go home and sit to remember that you're gone. Your mom loses her job, but she doesn't care because she lost her baby. She thinks for hours of your childhood and your life. 
She holds on to the good memories you had together. She raised you, but she blames herself because she thought she was at fault for what you did. Your sister and brother don't go to school. They get hundreds of messages saying, I'm sorry for your loss. They apologize. The thing is, you're not there to see it. You're not there to see all the people that care about you. It's funny when you're dead, how people start listening. Only if people would have given you the shot to be who you are and to show them the real you. Only if they gave you a chance to shine before it was too late. Only if they didn't say those nasty things. Only if they included you a little more. Everything would be so different, but you couldn't handle it. You were loved by so many people, and the saddest part is, is that it's shown now that you're gone. My message for the people out there watching this video is that no way suicide is the answer. Many amazing things will happen in your life, but none of them will happen if you end it. Would you rather to be known as a person who took their own life, or the person who stuck it out and succeeded? In no way I'm trying to make suicide look like a selfish or cowardly act, but however I'm encouraged everyone to have a new outlook on this action. Whether you're a suicidal, struggling with personal problems, or know someone who's suicidal, I'm here to tell you that you're loved. If you ever feel no one else cares about you, know that I do. You have so much to live for, such a bright future ahead of you. You don't want to end it all now. Don't prove your point now. Prove it later when you're living a successful life, so you can look back to the kids that never give you a chance. I'm here to tell everyone watching this video, it's never too late to become a better person. It's never too late to do a nice thing for another person. There are still some people hurting out there that who can use your help and kind words. No matter how cool you think you are or how weird you may think someone is, you're never too cool to do a nice thing or say a nice thing to someone. And there is no one out there that shouldn't receive a compliment or a nice deed. Everyone out there is hurting in their own way. Don't be that kid who tried to look cool around his friends. Just be that nice person who's there for others. Don't be that person who bring down another. Be that person who builds up another. Suicide should not be a way out. Together we can make a difference. Be there for people. Because you know what it's like to not have anyone there for you. Help make a difference. Together we can save life, even if it's just one. And yeah, I want to say from behalf of myself that I think suicide is not the way out. And I used to be a kind of person that would like take things to heart and would think of ending my life. But like I grew to um, know that I am a mature person now and all of those things can change. And I just want you to know that I'm here to always listen to anyone who want to talk or who's having a bad day and I'm here to tell you that I care for you and I really love you and I hope you guys like this video and if it changed your life I'm very happy for that because my happiness is seeing other people happy so yes guys that's most about it and thank you say no to suicide and yes to life <laughs>